Hello and welcome back to the Dondarian Let's Play, last time where we left off. Aegon conquered Pentos and Norvos, he also conquered Lorath as well, as you can see here. He conquered all of this, a little bit of Kohor as well. And his heir died as well, under susp suspicious circumstances. His one-year-old son controls and holds Crab's pin pincer. Also the Vale and the Riverlands are still fighting. I think this has been like a 20 or 10 year war at least. And I did let some time go by. I did let some time go by. I put the Fabricator onto Night Song and then I put it back to Harvest Hall. But when we we're at Night Song, I claim the title. So I do have a claim on Night Song now because nothing much is really going on. So I wanted it to you know, just continue to where it's getting to an exciting point. So, we will declare war on Night Song now. And, uh, there we go. I need to make sure my vassals are in good hands. So, there we go. We're going to send them to Gallows Gray. So, he can go really fast. See, he was attacked, so he, he has no choice. His men needs to... He has a few less men than I do. I think he only has... No, I think he has like 10 more men than I do. I'm not sure. Oh, and the High Septon just died. Interesting, interesting. I must hurry before these two, uh, band of 200 get there. Alright, they do have... Lo okay, they got there, but they do have low morale. So hopefully... We have about the same number of men. I don't care about that. So... Andrew, a defender, heavy infantry leader, holy warrior, direct leader, awesome, very awesome. I'm a cavalry leader, so I need more cavalry for myself, I believe. We'll arrange the troops that way. Okay. No, he has more troops here, but... No, we'll leave it, we'll leave it like this. We'll leave it like this. Actually, no. I would like more... Calorie on my side. And then put some more troops on the back, like this way. There we go, like that. Yes, good, very good. Alright, let's charge in. Let's go. We'll slow it down a bit. Hopefully, this battle will go well. Oh, and I had a son, Crescent. Crescent Dondarian, born on the eve of the battle. He'll be trained in struggle since he's a warrior son now, Crescent Dondarian. Here we go. Blackhaven, look at the Lightning Lord and his troops are coming in to fight Night Song. So they do have hills, bonus and hills, and I gained curses because he, he hired some mercenaries. Huh. But we are winning. You did fill my flank, but we are, we just won the middle and we just won the battle. And Sir Angan. I will have my bodyguard fight her, him. And he ran. He ran from my bodyguard. Very well. Very good. Nice up and died. Oh, stuff has gone down. And we just won this battle. Sweet. We need to get the Night Song as fast as possible. Let's go before they get more troops. Very good. That was a good battle. And he didn't kill crawling to the Lord as well. Alright, we need to take out the army. Yes. Yeah, Rise was a storm. Uh, uh Storm Lords. <laughs> oh look at this. Lady Sedra of the Scourge has accepted Lady Elena of Ghost Hill's Peace Offer. So look at that, look. We have my niece in control of Gust Hills. All this. She's a High Lord before me. <laughs> That's very cool. That's very cool. That's awesome. Very good. Very good. Alright, we just took it. Oh, and we, and we captured the Lord. That's good. We won. We just won at the Battle of Harvest Hall. Sweet. Sweet. And now we have, we have Night Song. And we can create the High Lordship. Very good, very good. 
it will gain me prestige and I won't miss any gold. Very good. I am now Lord Beric, the High Lord of the Dornish Marshes. Yes. That's awesome. Now I have more minor titles to give out, more commanders and such. You can be a commander. And you know what? You can be a commander. Who's this guy? Hasty. He's a bastard. Ah, he's married to my aunt. Yes, he can be a commander. And because of his leadership and just being awesome, I mean, he killed my uncle for me, my ambitious uncle. He did everything. I'm going to give him Night Song. Pre no, not Night Song. Potting Field. I'll give him Potting Field. That's the, uh. Yes, that's the tiniest castle. I'll give him Potting Field. That's very good. He's very good. Now he wants me in the uh, as position of commander. Very good. And now it ranks, wrinkles me that my lord, that Flor uh, my lord Florian, uh, has the fealty of Lord Lionel Selmy, and he should be rightfully sworn to me, my, my <laughs> the guy who hates me. Yeah, seek redress. Hey, can I uh, get this, please? Yes, and he sent him to me. <laughs> yes. Wait. Yeah. Yes, please. Are you- are you with me now? No, he's not. But he should be with me. Hmm. I guess it's, uh... Not doing so- I guess it's just bugging out or something. Alright. So there we go. I need a bigger dement size. Alright, well I'll give him potting field. For being good. And a good leader. So there you go, Sir Andrew. Sir Andrew Clary. And he, his sigil is a horse with a. Uh, looks like a, a tail, like he's a mermaid. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. And we'll let the time go just a little bit. So everyone can be considered my men. Very good, very good. He's a good, he's a better master of arms, so I'll make him master of arms instead of treasure. And I'll make my sister my master of coin. I'll improve the soldiers here. And I will improve relations with the Stormlands. Because I don't really need to cheat and lie. There you go. You need to be, you need to come under me. I could Jor claim it. But I need, I'll wait for my troops to get a little bit bigger, maybe? I do have 5,000 compared to his 2,000? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I shall. I need more commanders, by the way. And he's a Craven, not gonna have him. Pal, and. Hmm. Pal, I guess? There we go, Master of Horse. You. I need new bodyguards, but no one can be trusted. Hopefully you get your wife pregnant. That'd be cool. I can't believe his son died. So sad. Clary. House Clary. I just created a new house and I give him putting field. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. That was pretty good. We just won that war. Florian did not care about Night Song at all. Which is awesome. So that's very good. Ooh, who's this? The Lord of Haystack Hall. Oh, my friend. Wait, was he my friend? I believe he was my friend. Ha oh, wait, hold on. Haha, who knew? Who laughs last? Uh, wait, haha. He who laughs last laughs longest. Finally, the envious false knight lord Sh Shirley has left the earth. We. Oh, this is my one of my rivals, maybe? Well, everything will definitely be better without him. I have a lot of extra time on my hands now. He died under suspicious circumstances. I think Shuri's skull will look fine on my mantelpiece. <laughs> I'll go over to his house and steal his skull. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, this guy, oh, mm, looks like this guy hated him. The Tarth. Yeah, they, were, they hated each other. I think he killed him. And I could become friends with him. Close friends. I'm glad Shuri's gone, but... It will sure be boring without him. And so this guy becomes my rival, who is friends with him. 
and life is too short, it's about time I'd change my ways. Now, what would Beric do? He is wroth now. He is in hot temp temper. He is deceitful, chaste, arbitrary family person, ruthless, shy. I'm gonna steal his skull. I think I'm gonna steal his skull from my mantelpiece. Very cool. Finally, with one last swing of the cleaver, Lord Shuri's ugly head is severed from his equally disgusting body. I roll it up in a piece of cloth, stash it in my sh satchel, and escape undetected in the night. I almost wish you were alive to see this, Shirel. Uh, <laughs> I stole his skull. <laughs> I stole the skull. <laughs> this character owns the skulls of several deceased rivals. <laughs> well, just one. Just one deceased rival. And I can take Morgan Dondarrion, my nephew, as a squire. I shall. But he will be educated in combat. Which is me. Okay. What about my son, my heir? Five? Okay. Who can he marry now that he's a lord? A ball? Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. He's only five. So he can't really do much. I'm losing a little bit of money because I don't have enough stewardship. Maybe I need to get more stewardship. I need to stop being arbitrary. That's what I need to be. Hmm. So hopefully he has his wife. He wants to fall in love. Oh, I, I lose wrath. That's alright. That's cool. I'm not as wrath anymore. Now that I think I, I got mad and stole his trophy. Stole his head as a trophy. I think now I can just be a little bit calmer. How are the uh, Martells doing? Doing alright. Hey, my wife is pregnant again. Wow. I'm just having all sons, too. I need a daughter. Marry the bastard. Maybe. She's 14, though. He's a little bit over his age limit. I <laughs> stole your father's head. <laughs> oh, man. Now the Brathians are... Brathians are doing alright. Oh, my uncle is his guardian. Very interesting. Very interesting. Hopefully my uncle gets land. Oh, what if he gets Tarth? That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. He gives him Tarth. We'd have high lordships in all places. We need to become alliance. No? No alliance. Political concerns. What? You're my niece. Come on. You're my niece. You should like me. Oh well. Now, is this war still going? No, the war's ended. Did they take Darkmoor? No, they didn't. The Eerie... The Eerie held off against the Riverlands. Very good. He died of depression, probably because he kept losing the war and losing all these men. So now, Meloise. Wait, so that, that's the last, I believe. Yep. yep. That was the last person, last High Lord. Last Lord Paramount, who's ruler. During Aegon's conquest. Wow. There it goes. Aegon's conquest is pretty much finished now. Like, definitely finished. Now that he has killed all the lords and these lords have been raised to know that Aegon is the king. He's 63 years old. Still alive. Still alive. We have Borman Baratheon. Kohori's Waters. He has no other sons, except for him. Hmm, very interesting. Then he get married. Hey, you wanna marry my kid? No? Okay. <laughs> of course they wouldn't. Of course they wouldn't. Why would they? I'm bald. I look a little bit like, uh... Stannis' picture. In the... Uh... Later date. In the mod. Ooh, a group of craftsmen has come up to your court and shown off their work. They present you with fine goods, which you are sure there would, which you are sure there would be a demand for in the realm. Nothing. Noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start up a workshop, saying they lack funds to do it on their own. So I'll do it in fifty gold. Okay, let me uh, get a little bit of money. Ask Iron Bank for a loan. 
And I'll do it. Go. Donald, another? Wow, another kid. I'll name him Donald after my father. Yeah, I'll name him Donald. I'll give him... Thrift, I guess? No, he needs... I need all of my brothers to be good in arms. And so we're gonna be doing a lot of fighting with these Stormlands. Maybe with the Stormlands, maybe with the Reach. We need to be loyal to the Baratheons. They haven't done anything bad to us. They've let us do our lordships and stuff. So that's not, that's good. Uh, and my sister wants to be married again. And I can marry her off to him. Or I can send her off to the Septons. Okay, I'll, I'll find you something. I'll find you something. Hmm. John Brax. Wow, that is a good marriage. That is a really good marriage. And he would be there. Nah. Maybe an alliance would be good? Perhaps? Perhaps an alliance instead? No, I think... No... Mm. Yeah, an alliance will be better. Now, who can marry her? That would be good. Torn Square of Veilman, Lord of Adderdell? Way over here? Sure. You can marry my sister. Can we do Mantra? No. Alright, go ahead, have fun. She's almost nine years your elder. She wants to be punished, I don't care. Or lock in the stock, who cares? Alright, and there she goes, my lord treasurer. I need another one. There you go. There you go. Very good. Very good. I sent my daughter off. Uh, I'll give them... Uh, I'll give them 25 gold. You know? Yeah, sorry. I gave you a little bit of money, but... Still. Doesn't really matter. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six sons. I can spare a few sisters. Ah, uh, she died when she was pregnant. That's so sad. Oh, what happened? Is there a disease here? No, but there is the pox spreading in the veil. Nothing big happened yet. That's good. Alright, this is the realm that the Iron Throne controls. I'm sure he wants Lorath to be completely his. Maybe we'll attack this place? Maybe we'll attack Kohor, maybe we'll attack Mir. Looks like Mir is attacking Lys, and they took some land from them. It looks like they're having a civil war as well. Volantis, they're doing pretty good. They all worship R'hllor. Let me see if I could find a way to worship R'hllor as well. That would be really cool. Uh, Don Darien that worships R'hllor, that'd be... I'd like that. Looks like no one cares that this Dairy is a worshipper. No one really... No one really minds. I mean, it's minus 20. Like, based minus 20. But you can change that. Oh, he died under suspicious circumstance. I guess people do care if you're... <laughs> if you worship R'hllor. <laughs> but all the dairy worship R'hllor. Which is really cool. I like that. I'm paused, aren't I? Sir, kill Sir James in a Sapphire Point. Sure, I'll help you. Why not? Oh, and my son needs a guardian. He is haughty. So you can become proud, arbitrary, or cruel. Let's see if anyone good can train my son. Can you train my son? That'd be cool. I'm gonna see if I can get him to train my son. September 18th will be the end of that, which will be right around the corner. Hey, can you educate my son? Wait. Yes, Willem. Can you educate Willem? Can you educate Willem, please? Oh yeah, I get Aegon the Conqueror to train my heir? Yes. Thank you. That would be great. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Something happened. 
Alright. Killed an attorney joust. Alright, we'll end this here. Based on this ha on what just happened. The king is dead. Long live the king.